If you are someone who wants to lose weight, you might have been told that you need to calculate your calorie requirements. You plug your details in, the calculator gives you a target, and you aim at it. Simple. But despite the meticulous nature of calorie tracking, a lot of people don't get the results that they expect. Let's discuss why. Firstly, when calculating your resting metabolic rate, formulas are not guaranteed to be accurate. A review paper concluded that the most accurate method still had a margin of error of over 10% in a quarter of people. So right from the start, if you are aiming at that target, you might be aiming at the wrong one. Then it comes to using an activity multiplier to estimate your physical activity energy expenditure. And this is notoriously fucking difficult to guess. Some people might use moderately active because they go to the gym four times a week. But what the fuck does that actually mean calorie wise? Also, the number of calories that people burn in the gym is actually minuscule compared to how many they might burn if they have an active lifestyle. One study concluded that people with an active lifestyle could burn 2000 calories per day, not through formal exercise. The last time I put my same stats into five different calorie calculators, I had numbers ranging from 2,300 calories per day to 3,200 calories per day. So the target that you're aiming for is now pretty fucking blurry. Like someone's got a little bit of lube and just rubbed it in your eyes and you're there trying to aim at it like that. Let's not forget that the amount that you move on a daily basis is also going to fluctuate. So that blurry target is kind of swinging round a bit now. But to counteract that, maybe you use a sophisticated activity tracker. But once again, these can have very large margins of error, just estimating the calories burned through physical activity, depending on the device type and the activity type. But you know what? Let's pretend that someone is on a lucky streak. They look out and get all of these numbers absolutely fucking bang on. That target is exact. It's visible, it's not even moving. Then what someone would do is subtract 500 calories per day, for example, to put themselves in a calorie deficit, which in theory should result in one pound of weight loss per week. What they might not realize is that calories in and calories out are not independent and static. They are dynamic. So when you change the amount of calories you're consuming, the calories that you're burning is also likely to change. So that 500 calorie per day deficit, which should result in one pound of weight loss a week, actually doesn't pan out like that at all. Your body adapts, and weight loss slows. It isn't linear. But let's pretend that your lucky streak keeps going and we can put all of that aside as well. One of the issues with all of this is it also kind of assumes that people are actually accurate at tracking their food. But calorie underreporting is so prevalent that even a study in dietitian showed that they underreported by 223 calories per day. So this assumption that everyone is going to be tracking accurately enough to aim for a very specific calorie target Good luck. So, to summarize, the calorie target that someone's aiming at probably isn't accurate, and it might move on a daily basis, and also trend downwards over time. You're also aiming to hit that number with the number of calories you're consuming, yet don't factor in that the number of calories you're consuming probably isn't accurate either. Long story short, it isn't fucking surprising that most people don't get the results they expect. And chances are, you're watching this because you're one of those people and there is no reason to feel ashamed by that. Calorie tracking, whilst meticulous in nature, is very, very far from an exact fucking science. So if you think that you're consuming the right amount of food to lose weight, and it's not happening for whatever reason, there's a strong possibility that you're not actually broken. Your best bet is to understand that all of these are a series of best guesses at most. So understand that they are just ballpark figures and don't be afraid to adjust accordingly.